Hey there, everyone, and welcome to the next blind run. Gus presents 2006. 18 years ago, you guys! We are heading into another adventure in the land of mana. Welcome to Atelier Iris 2. A little bit early. I didn't actually wait for the title screen. I'm bad. The Azoth of Destiny. I hope that's how you pronounce that, because I do not know. Could have actually gone ahead and looked up Azoth before we started, but I sure didn't. Oh, hey. That kid looks kind of like, um, what's his name, Arlen? Man, I my, my mind is so blanking on it. Who all was, who all was there? There was um, Klein, who was the main character, and then um, like Lita, who was the naked mana lady. Yes, that's what I remember about her. Don't judge. And then Arlen, the kick-ass white-haired swordsman, and honestly, oh yeah, and there was the, there was like a cat girl mage chick. And I don't actually remember anyone else in the party. Sorry if your favorite character got left out. Wait, is that what a dragon dude? Oh, and that looked like the, what was his name? Start with a, like, started with a P. Wow. I'm guessing that's the big bad. Or at the very least, that's a bad. I don't know about big or not, but he's he's probably enough to be shown in the intro movie. Look at them, they're just standing there. This isn't even, like pushing against each other. They're just like, we will touch our swords together and allow power to happen. All right, guys. Welcome. Press start button. I can do that. There's no option to continue because, as I said, this is a blind run. And in case anyone is here, because obviously we do get a lot of like new viewers on the first episodes. Blind run. I've said that three times. Three times have I said that. That means do not tell me anything that has not happened yet in the game. It's rude. What is going on? That's weird. <laughs> Like, down below, there's just, like, it doesn't go all the way across. It's it's kind of screwed up. I wonder if that's the widescreen hack that doesn't... It's trying to make the water widescreen because it sees it as a 3D space, but then it doesn't actually extend, so... Whoops! We may have to turn that off, guys, if this keeps up. But yeah, blind run. That means don't tell me what's happening. Don't tell me about characters I haven't met yet. Don't tell me about optional stuff that I missed. Um, If I actually missed it, go ahead and, like, let me know, but... Don't be like, oh, if you go to this town, this happens. Because, damn it, I want to play the game. I want to enjoy the game. The only exception to that is if there's missable stuff that really, really, really helps flesh out the game. To use an example that I use a lot, if, this, if, if I were playing Final Fantasy VII, um, I would want you to tell me about Yuffie and Vincent. I would not want you to tell me about Knights of the Round. Knights of the Round doesn't add anything to the game. It's just a freakishly overpowered spell that, frrankly, makes the game boring. So, we clear? Cool. New game. Oh, crap. I should have gone into options. Well, too late now. There goes that guy from the intro. He was looking at his girlfriend as she was sleeping. He's a creeper, guys. He was staring at her while she slept. Wait, what? You were running away from someone, and then you hit on the same side. After I came all this way. Oh, this sucks. After you, like, got onto... You hit on the side they were coming from. That's not how you hide. Also, why are you wearing a, like, battle bikini? Like, of course they're going to chase you. Uh-oh, my attack is down, but you have no health. Do you really expect Max to bail you out of that? What is a break attack? Well, it's starting me on skills anyway. Generates an aura wave damaging multiple enemies regardless of defense and heal. So, well, obviously it wants me to do... Oh. I thought it said damaging multiple enemies. It doesn't seem to be... <gasps> oh, I, it, the flashing probably means it'll hit them too. If that makes sense. <laughs> Wow, 
Wait, how are they running past you? It can't be over. I mean, it can be if guys... What are you doing? Come on, let's go! Why are you giving Max a question mark face? Be like, we know who he is. His name is Max. The blockade is set in West Regenbogen. The Simsilt must not reach Reese Palace. What the hell kind of intro is yes, this? Bradenbogen, Reese Palace. Like, I, I can't connect to this if you don't tell me what the hell is going on. Project A7. Hey, it's, um... What is her name? Hasu Miku? Oh, wow. Rie, hold on. Just a little longer. Wow, wow, the big bad is... I, 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 this probably isn't the big bad. They certainly made me think of him for the intro, but then his, like, for the very first thing you see him do is get stopped. My god! I can hear it. Who is this question mark, question mark, question mark person, and why does it keep shape changing? My god, this is a confusing intro, guys. I have no idea what's going on, other than a lot of people are running around a lot. So does the world, a lot power of people. To create, the power to destroy, the finesse of total control. If you have total control, you don't need finesse. A lot of people are doing a lot of things. This is as the world turns. Mana, the father of power, the mother of life. The source of all nature. You heard it here first, guys. Mana is gender fluid. I hereby pledge to uphold the tenets set forth by Lilith, the mana of creation. I do vaguely remember Lilith. I don't actually remember anything about Lilith, only I said, oh, that's interesting. They, they named it Lilith. <laughs> it's funny that I don't remember. Now, slowly open your eyes. It's funny that I don't remember anything... I mean, I remember a little bit about the previous game, but the, mo the most, like, lasting memories of the previous game I have was my reaction to things in the game. I don't remember who Lilith is, but I remember me talking about the fact that someone from the Lilith... in the game was indeed named Lilith. Vise, as of today, you are a full-fledged alchemist. Congratulations, Vise! So, Cruz, I don't... That person looks vaguely like Klein, but I'm pretty sure it's not Klein. Although I do think Klein had that general green color scheme going on, if I remember correctly. Make a pack with mana to make your title of alchemist official. Wait, how did you just say, as of today, you're a full-fledged alchemist, and then be like, oh, actually, you have to do this before it's official? You just made it official. Dude, you should just walk off and be like, nope, you said it. No take backs. Always remember to show gratitude and respect to your mana. I won't forget. Well, either that's a trap or that's a girl. I'm not sure which. From the back, I couldn't really tell, but her voice is definitely a hurish. Here, I want you to have this. How pretty. It's a pair of rings, right? Oh, God. Our up-and-coming alchemist is not actually sure what a ring looks like. We're all doomed. It's called the share ring. Its true purpose is unknown. Wait, 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 wait. I have a I have a new power called sharing. <laughs> Perhaps you can figure it out. You should give one to someone special. You gave me an engagement ring and didn't even tell me what it was for? What if I give that to a cat or something and then they're like, haha, you have to marry the cat. What? So have you decided who to give it to yet? Dude, you literally gave it to her two seconds ago. Be mindful of your feelings. All right. You're all set now. With the aid of mana, you will have many wonderful adventures. I understand. Thank you. You're welcome, even though I still think it's kind of scummy that he gave her an engagement ring and didn't actually tell her what it was for. Oh, I can move around. Oh, jumping is a thing in this game. Uh, of course, because I'm a true gamer, the very first thing I figured out was jumping. Congratulations, Vise. I'm sure I'm sure he is waiting to hear the good news. Who is he? What the hell? I don't know what that's doing, but it's pretty. Famous last words. So why are you sitting on a harp? Actually, are you sitting inside the harp? What the hell is wrong with you? There are like harp streams going through this person's body. 
I think I, I think this is a torture device, guys. Eden's a world for men. I also think we've been to Eden. And alchemists. Alchemists are artists who work with men to create great things. But you already knew. I'm like, I'm a freaking alchemist. Why are you telling me this? That's like going up to like someone in the Marine Corps and being like, being like, the American Armed Forces protect them. <laughs> like, yeah, no shit. Vise, you're finally an alchemist. Be sure to give thanks to Lilith and the other mana. Like Siren? You can talk or investigate by pressing the X button. But you already know that because in order to talk to me, you had to press the X button. There, there are locked doors in this game? That does not seem fair. I don't know what it is. Some, something about the way that she walks is just weird and cringy. Vise, congratulations on becoming an alchemist. Lutanus, you kind of look like a Pokemon. I have a present for you. For me? Thank you. This is a very special day. We haven't even, like, made a pact with a mana spirit yet, and everyone's always like, here's your present, good job, and I'm like, it's not even official. What if I fail? What if the mana spirits are like, you suck? What the f- <laughs> Received Alchemy 101. I'm now a full-fledged al- that, That's like, congratulations on finishing college. You have your bachelor's degree. Here, algebra for dummies. And I'm like, what the- that is the most backhanded present I've ever gotten. You now have the recipes for Heal Herb and Fear Bottle. Remember to study hard. I just graduated! I will, I promise. Thank you. These are, these all, these, all these people secretly hate you. Ah, oh, the breeze feels nice. Isolated world, Eden, suspended it. Oh, I can't read that fast. There, the spirit alone is man out of humans of his life. From the mother of mana, the creator of mana, Lilith, the source of power is elements. A world where everything in his form is composed of elements. The user of the spirit mana and elements crafts the skills from whence there were none. In the extremes, they crafted skills, created material materials. These people were called alchemists. Eden's only town noir. Here, young man and young woman are studying alchemy. Oh, Eden is the land of... Ma okay, that makes sense. The, ma the man of spirits would not need a lot of towns. The boy's name is Felt. The girl's name is Vis. Two orphans have been raised together since they were children. Are we the only two humans in the whole freaking world? Hopefully we're not brother and sister, because, um... Today, Feast is being initiated as a full-fledged alchemist. Things are going to change, but... Walking along the on breeze, she still does not know the fate that lies in store for her. Episode 1, Beginning in Eden. That's gonna kind of fu be funny, because the last game we took us forever to get to Eden. Way better than Klein. I start off where Klein finished. Gyptus? What kind of name is Gyptus? Hey, V, so you're by yourself today? Yeah, I guess. Felt way to get home. Well, I should hurry along then. I hate when I go like visit a half-naked woman and her response is, Go talk to your brother. <laughs> Yuck. Magic grass, wax. I'm gonna wait until I know what these guys are and why I want them. Yak's amazing! Running a shop at his age? Hello again, Siren. No, you're Clavia. You look a lot like Siren. 
Don't talk to me. I want to be left alone. Aroma. There's several places in Eden called Mana Holy Grounds. Alchemists go there to make packs with mana. Are there any male mana spirits? Well, actually, no. Uh, the the guy last time, the um, little fairy green guy, was male. These remember making mini packs that you can't. Well, I don't know how to make a pact. If you don't, that's nymph. That is, like, why is every, um, mana spirit in this area super, like, half-naked woman, woman, except for Nymph, who is the one who I'd expect to be that way? Well, my, that button doesn't even work. I assume it'll unlock later. Get better. It's so dark, I can't see anything. Better stay out of here until I find some light. Really? You can't find the switch on the wall? <gasps> Doggy! Wow, wow. This? There's there's a like, swordswoman that looked a little bit like this, I think. Or maybe I'm just getting her confused with um, the girl from Trails of Cold Steel. Center of Eden is a small world that consists of a few holy grounds of mana. The Belkide Gate leads to another world. Many yearn to go there. But you won't find more and more peaceful tranquil. That's very true. The other world is full of war. Oh, this guy looks familiar. No matter what time it is, the historical society is pitch black. It's too dangerous to go in without proper lighting. That that looks like the exact same guy. I do think I remember that all the fairies kind of look like him, though. Where could he be? He's at that gate again. Belkite gate's just outside of town. Interesting. So he's already in my party, even though he's not in my party. Cool, cool. I can dig it. I should be doing something else. I'm gonna say this is when I have time. Okay, so this is where you go for synthesis. But yeah, it's like, you're too dumb to do synthesis. You're not even a proper um, alchemist yet. It's locked. I better synthesize a key. That does remind me, as you bump into stuff, you can find hidden things. I remember that now. Ah, this is a game where I press X against everything. Fees. You're an alchemist now, right? I want to learn something new, just like you, Vs. But alchemy's not just about learning. Gee, she's paying you a compliment. She's saying you're awesome. You don't have to be so critical. Please, try not to make any mistakes today, okay? I'm not the one who always makes mistakes! Okay, I'll try not to make them today either. I remember news. What is the 99 for? Is that how many they have in stock? Wow, that person actually was aware that I just to totally, like, snubbed them and didn't buy anything. What is something wrong with my triangle button? Because the menu definitely does not come up, ever. So that's Eden Temple. That's the Great Cave. And there's Belkhide Gate. Which, this is obviously where the game wants me to go. Felt? What, what is wrong with your name? Like, are, are you some sort of plush piece of fabric? Or are, is it supposed to be like, you know, grope, but not quite that intrusive? Belkhide. It's a whole other world. Nothing like Eden. It's a whole new world. These ruins are connected to another world beyond the Belkide Gate. Well, yeah, that's kind of what gates do. What kind of world can it be? So they've been raised since orphans, and they've never gone through the gate, even though it's literally, like, right outside town. Like, these are not very curious children. I knew I'd find you here. 
Oh, hello, Vise. I still are they related or are they just two orphans? Like, how do they end up here? They they're not the same hair color, which in anime terms means they're not related. Don't oh hello me. What happened to let's go celebrate when you become an alchemist, Fel? Uh, that was today. Why is every guy in an RPG uh, like dits? Although I guess it's not every guy. There's w uh, plenty of ditzy women too. I should have known you'd forget. Are you still thinking about that other world? It's it's, it's nothing to write home about. Though I guess it would be a pretty pretty like boring RPG. And then they went to the gate and they thought about going through it, but then they decided not to. <laughs> There's a whole other world beyond this gate that we've never seen. Isn't it exciting just thinking about it? <laughs> I guess Eden is just too small for you, Felt. Did you ditch study hall to hang out by the Azoth again yesterday? What is the Azoth? Although at least I now know that um, that is indeed how you pronounce it. Well, alchemy is kind of boring. I'd rather be swinging a sword than studying. You're so dumb. It's weird, but I can concentrate better over there. I just want to grow stronger. When that day comes... <laughs> what? <laughs> I just want to be strong. Ha <laughs> ha! No, nothing. I want to go to Marmal Forest. Want to come with me? That's how you celebrate? Hey, I just became an alchemist. Let's go hang out in the woods by ourselves. Sure. Besides, I haven't checked out the Azoth yet today. This must be the problem of living in such a small world. No wonder they get bored. There's like nothing here. Okay, I'll just follow you then. Okay, so running through the gate does nothing. Uh, I knew it wouldn't actually let me through, but I thought it would actually stop me. Haha, <laughs> I remember this as well. Consume the world. What's down here? What well, you think my trial button is just broken? Like, I think I may have to recalibrate it because it's definitely not doing anything. And I kind of feel like I should be able to access the menu by now. Yeah, it's... My menu button doesn't do anything. I'll have to get that fixed before we record again. Hopefully I won't need it. What are we doing here? Huh? What do you think? Yeah, we're checking out the Azoth. You just talked about it. full-fledged alchemist now. So you say, but this is the Woodman's holy ground. This is Door's tree. What kind of a name is Door? Besides... How can you be a full-fledged alchemist when you still burn the cauldron every day? <laughs> it's a little bit disappointing that the text is significantly slower than he is. Uh, why do you always bring that up? Well, if you didn't do it every day... Ah, oh, come on. You're the hardest-working student in Eden. Yeah, but you've always been more talented than me. Except that he doesn't attend class and is an idiot. Even when we first started, you were better than me at synthesizing. This is interesting. I wonder if they're both going to be actual alchemists, or is it just going to be like, oh no, he's not an alchemist because he has a sword. You learned elemental extraction in less than a week. If you just study hard, you'll pass. Yeah, study hard. But that's the hardest part. <laughs> if, it if it wasn't hard, I'd do it. But it being hard makes me not want to do it. <laughs> you never change. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Whoops. In forest and caves, you may find special objects like Yeah, I figured that out. This is the expo will tell you what to do. For example, using a planet on a small... Okay. They encounter enemies, travel through forest. The encounter gauge will change from blue to red until the enemies appear. After the fight, the gauge will turn to blue. Number of any encounters in the area is predetermined. After each battle, the encounter gauge goes down. When the gauge is empty, no more enemies will appear in that. Interesting!
Oh, wow. I already ran into the boss of the forest. That's pretty impressive. Welcome to Mammal Forest. The main attraction is the Woodman's Holy Ground, the Dower Strait Great Tree, and Azure Azal Square. Why are you acting like a tour guide? Well, definitely less things you can consume than the last game. Do you know elemental extraction? I may skill used to collect the element elemental makeup of objects. You do it by pressing the bad button. You guys were really upset that I passed that, weren't you? You don't gotta lie to me. So eventually I'll get a hook, apparently. I realized I was probably supposed to water those. Whoops. <laughs> Come here every day. Yeah, but this village feels odd. This place is strong with mana power, though. Yeah. The Azure Azoth. Are we gonna pull the sword from the stone? We're gonna be a hero of legend. It's been stuck here for a long time. Crew said that that Azoth is the pinnacle of alchemic creation. And so you left it in the middle of a forest? Well, if it can't be used, then it's just junk, though. Is it true that nobody can pull that thing out? Sure seems that way. It is the Sword in the Stone. Does that mean I'm going to be King Arthur? Even the Mana of Eden have been trying to pull it out. Forget it, Felt. We'll get in serious trouble. Relax. I've been trying to do this every day. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was well done. I was like, really? It's going to mysteriously work? Yep, that's not budging. <laughs> Okay, I, I appreciate that. Are you all right? Yeah, I bet this thing has some amazing powers. <laughs> yeah, like sealing away the doom from the, the end of the world. Oops! What now? Hmm. The center of the sword is full of red gems. I think I've seen this somewhere before. Is, did you see it in the, like, um, press a button icon in the lower right corner of the screen? Hmm. Well, since this was made through alchemy, I'm sure that we can figure it out eventually. But yeah, but why would you, I mean, like, it's there for a reason, isn't it? Actually, I guess, I, I guess I'm just reacting to how most games work. I don't really know that. Felt, will you help me? So, what, you're going to coop yourself up in the library for days on end? I mean, that sounds like a plan. You got it. I've had enough of studying already. Well, that's why I graduated and you didn't. Come on, you want to solve this, don't you? And that's going to flash again? Yep. I'm on to you, game. Extract a barrel or sprout. And return to an area, and boom, they're all back again. Yeah, you, you said that already. So I am curious what happens. Oh, what's down here? Interesting. I can't. I can't actually water them. Do I not have any water, or is that a requirement for me to have um, access to my triangle menu? I bet it, the, it requires access to my triangle menu. I got a feeling. Because, yeah, I've definitely got 90 water elements.
All right, and with all of that done, I do think it's a bit, pretty good time to probably end the first episode. Plus, my inability to access the menu and save is going to be a problem. But I can definitely save if I go back to the um, City of Noir, which... It's an odd name for it, to be quite honest. But I do know coming here allows me to save. So, thank you very much for just coming to the inaugural episode of Let's Play uh, of Iris 2, Azoth of Destiny. Playtime is 25 minutes, but we're a little bit overexcited to talk about it at the beginning of the episode. You guys are okay with that, right? See you next time, guys.